Welcome, today we're going to be disassembling a Lenovo Y50-70. Um, this particular model number is 20349. And to disassemble we're going to be using a small Phillips head bit. This is a 2.5. So as usual the first thing we're going to do is remove the screws in the bottom case. All right, once we have those bottom case screws out, we're gonna lift up on the front edge here and then just slide it back off of the uh, back hinges there. And then we have access to the internals. All right, as usual, we'll go ahead and remove the battery first. So we can go ahead and remove those screws. And we'll go ahead and pull that connector out. All right, for the hard drive caddy, uh, looks like just a few screws and um, the SATA connector to disconnect from the motherboard. And just use your fingernail to work that SATA connector out and then to remove a hard drive uh, it's just the four screws on each side all right now we can start removing the components uh, we'll go ahead and just remove these memory sticks just by spreading those little bars and then you can pull the memory stick out and then for the Wi-Fi card just pull up on those Wi-Fi antennas and remove the screw. All right, it looks like the in-out board is underneath the subwoofer, so we'll go ahead and remove that as well. And then the connector Use the little tabs to wiggle it out. And same for the in-out board connector. Just uh, get some fingernails on the edges and then wiggle it out. All right, now we can go ahead and remove the fan and the heat sinks, or heat sink and fan. Um, we'll go ahead and remove these connectors first. Same method, just with the fingernails and wiggle it up and out. Looks like the uh, some of these wires are kind of interlaced with the fan, so go ahead and clear those, and then we can remove the screws. And for the heatsink, uh, looks like about six screws. And if you're reinstalling the heatsink, you're going to want to tighten these screws back in the order 
um, that is stamped out next to the screws, but if you're removing it, it doesn't matter. It's more for reinstalling with the thermal paste and just tightening the heat sink down evenly. All right, we have the screws out and then we'll just wiggle that heat sink a little bit to free up the thermal paste and then we can remove the heat sink. All right, now we'll go ahead and look for any more components that need to be removed. It looks like there's one here. All right, now we can uh, go ahead and free all of the ribbons um, that are connecting the motherboard. So we'll just flip up on the connector, remove the ribbon. A uh, little battery can stay put. And for the display cable, we'll just pull straight up to release. Looks like one more small ribbon over here. And then a big connector to wiggle out with the fingernails. Alright, so we'll do a quick check, make sure the motherboard has been disconnected from everything we can see. And then we can go ahead and remove these screws. Alright, now we have the screws out, we can just wiggle that motherboard a little bit, make sure that nothing else is holding it down, and we can remove it from the palm rest. And it looks like just one screw for the power button. And you'll probably have to peel up some tape. All right, so it looks like those speakers need to be removed, um, at least this one to remove the hinge. So go ahead and just pop that speaker up for now. And we'll just do the same for the other side. All right, so it looks like we have the cables um, free from the display assembly so that when we go to separate it, there's nothing kind of holding it. So we'll go ahead and open it up. I know this one's kind of got a broken, broken hinge. And then we can just go ahead and remove those last hinge screws.
And when you're removing the very last screws, you're gonna to wanna to hold up from the bottom using your free hand and just support the two pieces. And then you can remove the display assembly from the palm rest. All right, so we're just left with pretty much the bare palm rest. Um, it looks like the USB port um, is just held on with some sticky tape. And if you want to remove the touchpad, uh, just a few screws to remove the button bar, and it's held on by some pretty strong adhesive, so you're going to uh, need a heat gun to release the touchpad. And then the keyboard is not removable. It's kind of riveted in there. So that's it for the palm rest. All right, for the display assembly, first we're gonna remove this bottom cover here. Um, it's kind of like a clutch cover. And it looks like on this particular one, they had some tape holding on one edge of it. But all you really need to do is use a flat tool and just go along the uh, edge there to pop it off. All right, now we can separate the back cover and the front bezel assembly. Um, it feels like it's popping off around the edges, but some of these have some serious adhesive holding the back cover actually to the LCD assembly. So we'll see if we can get this open without too much problem. Okay, this one wasn't too bad. So it's, it's definitely not held on by any serious tape in the back. Um, so to finish popping it off, we'll just go ahead and remove the two plastic screws um, that are kind of connecting the back cover. But some of the, I, the Lenovo's have uh, some real tough adhesive um, on either side directly connected to the LCD screen, and those things can be a real nightmare to separate. But this one is not bad at all. So it looks like the video cable is still trapped underneath the hinge. Um, so for now, we'll go ahead and just open up the, or flip that screen over, and then the video cable is right here and the webcam cable you'll also have to uh, remove to get the display free. All right, so I think the best course of action here, instead of trying to fight with all those, um, we'll just remove the hinge. And we'll go ahead and remove the other one since we're here anyways. So since that video cable is kind of wound underneath the hinge, I can't really free it unless you remove the hinge. Okay, so now we have a free display assembly and with this style, if you want to remove the LCD screen from the front display bezel, um, you're definitely gonna need a heat gun and a really light touch. Uh, it's really easy to break this hard plastic. So if you're doing any kind of heavy prying, you're almost guaranteed to break that. 
Um, but the webcam is easy to get to. It's just stuck on front with the adhesive and then um, if you want to remove the display cable, you're first going to have to pull it out of the LCD and then just unwind it from the little retainers. And it is hooked on a couple different spots here on the LCD, so just um, be mindful of where it's routed. It looks like there's two little ribbons here that are covering it, so we'll go ahead and release those. And if you're planning on uh, using the LCD again, you definitely want to put those ribbons back. And then for the webcam, we'll just kind of pry from the top. Definitely some pretty good adhesive holding that on. Um, so it's always best to kind of pull it from the top instead of trying to pry up on either side. All right, so that is how you disassemble the LCD uh, display assembly. And like I said, if you want to replace the LCD screen, you're definitely better off um, just buying the assembly with the digitizer and the screen already together because it, it will be a nightmare trying to take that off with a, a heat gun. So that is how you disassemble a Lenovo Y50-70, model number 20349. Um, if this video helped you or you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.